Hello and welcome to the video. So today I wanted to give you my thoughts on Genotype. So I do already have a Let's Play video up of my first, I think, hour or so playing the game. I've since played about another hour or so. I'm about, I think, a third of the way through. So I think I've got a good idea of how the game is running and my first impressions. So I just wanted to put a video together. I appreciate not everyone's going to want to watch the whole series. And you might want to pick it up for yourself and you just want to know a little bit about the game. So Genotype is a sci-fi action adventure game. You land in a research base in the Antarctic and you find out that there's been some experimentation going on there. Something's got out. It's filled with monstrous giant bugs or beasts or whatever you want to call them. You take the role of a researcher, so you're not really armed with any weapons, but you do come across these special high-tech gloves. Once you're in the base, you find these gloves. You also find a headset in which you start talking to someone who calls himself Presto, and he sort of guides you through the base and what to do. Now, these gloves, they give you a very unique ability where you can sort of 3D print a living organism onto the glove, which acts as your weapon. And throughout the game you get different organisms that you can get different dna strains and one might be a i think it's called a spitter and that sort of acts like your, your first weapon sort of like a machine gun style blaster pistol but it's a living organism and it also has a secondary fire which is a grenade and then you find something called a grubber which allows you to pull organic matter so you can either use that to, to fight some of these beasts or you can use it to remove some blocks from a door, for example. So there's, there's different uses for different weapons. There's even one called the Swarmer, which fires bees or wasps or some, something of that description to uh, to the enemy, which is by far my favourite, despite of my phobia of wasps and bees. So it sounds, it sounds eerie and disturbing as you're firing this swarm, but it's actually really powerful and really cool. So as you explore, you do have quite a, a useful map to help guide you around, and you will notice some areas are locked and you'll need a, a key, what they call a biometric pass, and you get different levels. So you might get a level one, level two, to level three and go on so each area you need to unlock you need to upload this biometric to your gloves in order to progress gloves are the key to everything so they unlock your weapons and you also anything that you find might be tokens or genome mass you inject directly into your glove and that gives you points that you might be able to upgrade your weapons or spend on crafting items the game itself isn't necessarily scary there are some pretty large beasts depending on what kind of phobias you have around bugs or beasts or anything it may they may creep you out a little bit more than normal so some are a bit crab like then you get some that are flying and then you get these little, little sort of cockroach type bugs and they'll jump around um, but it's not necessarily scary but it, it is challenging figuring out how you're going to defeat them some of them do go invisible but you get more than enough weapons to sort of deal with them and if you run out of bullets you can always use the grubber and just yank at them there is a bit of inventory management to be had because you only have so many slots i think it's about 12 or so and so anything you pick up you can either inject directly in your wrist with its ammo health or recipes to craft items you can inject them in or you can place them in your inventory for later use you do also get access to terminals so the terminals you'll get two different kinds one will be a save point so it'll be a check-in terminal it's very obvious where you can see that and then there's also an upgrade terminal which as i mentioned previously you can collect tokens to upgrade four different slots which will improve things like your max health and critical hits for example you can also go in and directly upgrade a weapon and that'll be things like rate of fire how powerful the impact is and much more and then once you've collected recipes as i mentioned you'll find those throughout the levels providing you've injected those into your glove and used them you can now go to the crafting terminal create those weapons using the 3d printer so you, as long as you've got the, re the recipe you can print as many syringes or as much ammo as you can afford using the genome mass genome mass is easily recognizable it's bright purple so you'll either find it in a syringe that you put into your glove or as you kill different beasts you'll collect some genome mass from them you can play the game seated or standing you just toggle the option in the menu this is one that i prefer to sit down on purely when i'm doing recording as well just makes it a bit more comfortable and as far as the graphics are concerned it's absolutely crisp you can see everything very clearly you can read the terminals you can see all the different details of what's laid out on the desks and you know you can read signage and it's, it's a beautiful environment to sort of just stop and take in providing you're not being chased by beasts the sound effects are really good on this game down to the, the different beasts making different noises so you can sort of recognize what you're going to be coming up against the sound the doors make when they open and close at first it had me thinking that there was a bug behind me and i was very on edge but it is just the the noise of the doors closing and even to the point of the different organisms that you use to shoot they all make different noises as well so it's the sound effects are, are pretty spot on and it really adds to that immersion now when it comes to the story the way the story is delivered and the way the story is told is through dialogue between you the player and presto over the intercom and also through various audio logs that you might find throughout the map you will find that you'll go into a new area for example or you'll pick something up and your player will will reach out to presto and say what's this for example or where am i going here and he'll respond so as long as you're paying attention to what's being said you'll 
get a good grasp of what's going on with the story. If you ever get stuck and you want to know what your objective is, you just open the map and your objective will be right above it. The game is a bit challenging, it doesn't sort of hold your hand the entire way, there's no waypoints or anything like that, so you do have to do a bit of back and forth with exploring, and as you unlock different areas through the biometric keys on your glove, you'll notice that sometimes you will open up doors that sort of lead you back to an area that you previously were. So you'll unlock shortcuts and you'll unlock different areas so you can move around quick. Because what you'll find is sometimes you'll move into an area and that will be a common area for bugs to come into. Regardless of how many times you go in and out, every time you go in that area there's going to be beasts coming out. So it might help if you go another way. And so once you've unlocked that, it might save you some ammo and some health. There's also a tube system and this sort of acts like your, your fast travel. So as you unlock these tubes, you have to pull a lever on both sides and then that becomes active and then whenever you want to tra fast travel between those different areas you've now got a tube system that you can use which i've only used a couple of times but it can become useful because the map is increasing every time i play i've been told that the game lasts between six to eight hours depending on how you play it as far as vr games are concerned that's a fairly lengthy story to play through so you're definitely getting value for your money there and you'll definitely have something to keep you busy so i would say if you're a fan of shooter games or survival games then this is definitely one for you exploring through a, a desolate recent Research center looking for DNA samples trying to uncover the plot fighting off various different kinds of beasts the craft mechanic is pretty cool plenty of different upgrades for you to choose from like I say you get four slots so it's entirely up to you which upgrades you want to go for depending on your playstyle to a degree you can choose which weapons you're going to use and which ammo you want to create to use the most like I said I, I've been using the swarmer currently so I keep producing more and more swarmer ammo as opposed to anything else but you do get various different weapons as I mentioned there's even an incinerator so I've just unlocked like a flamethrower that's pretty cool so you can sort of play the game however you like to whatever your favorite weapon is go ahead and use that so the game does feel like a fully fleshed out game it's pretty cool it's one that i enjoy and I'm, I'm, I'm willing to see all the way through and i'm really glad that we're getting to see some unique concepts in games now particularly in vr because it, it, it's easy it's one thing to create multiple Beat Saber clones or copying concepts from other popular games. But I think this one's sort of a unique concept that I've not seen too much of in the VR space, using sort of live ammo. And you use those gloves not only to dispatch your enemies, but there are organisms that you might use for example, to teleport your brain into a bug in order to get through vents and collect supplies. So there's also sort of a puzzle aspect as well there. And it's very unique and I like it. So if you want to try it, Genotype, I'll link it in the description. I definitely think this one's worth looking at. And as I mentioned, I haven't finished the game yet. I will be posting a series of me playing the game if people are interested in seeing more. But I just wanted to help spread the word about this game. And if anyone's interested and wanted to know a little bit more, then feel free to ask questions in the comments. I'll answer as best I can. And if I don't know the answer, I can ask the developers and they'll tell me themselves. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.